thank you. Okay. Thank you for your inviting. Hello, everyone. My name is Tian Da Sen. I'm glad to share the uh, share the discussion with UBE technical with everyone here. My topic today is uh, application of the UBE uh, technical in theoretical uh, ligament platform application and ligament platform of the theoretical vertebral complexes. The spinal cord resulting somatic sensory and uh, and uh, motor uh, dysfunction, uh, such as a low limb pain, numbness, weakness, and even uh, defecation disorder. Uh, at, the point, uh, at the present, uh, the common classification of the TOLF is stable classification uh, divided into five types. Uh, the purpose of the classification is to guide the model of ablation and the prognosis. Uh, before TOL surgery, it is necessary to judge the whether there is a dual ossification. And whether there is a dual ossification directly demand, uh, determines the choice of a surgical strategy. The, there are the three sing, uh, single cell with dual ossification in CT scan. Uh, which are tremor checker sign, uh, coma sign, and a bridge sign. Uh, be sure to read the CT scan carefully before operation. Uh, at present, the surgical treatment options are available for TOLF as follow. Uh, and cover a surgical spinal candle pulse theory laminar resection, a micro endoscopic spinal candle decompression, uh, laterally for laminar decompression of the spinal canal, uh, particularly unilaterally by portal endoscopy, spinal canal decompression. Uh, next, I uh, will use the uh, few specific cases to introduce the skills and the uh, precautions uh, for thoracic spinal canal decompression and the uh, UBE technique. Uh, case one is the first case that I have done. The patient is uh, 57. Yes, old man suffering from numbness and weakness of both uh, low uh, limbs limb for more than one month. He can't uh, work and enters the hospital in uh, wheelchair. Uh, wheelchair. Uh, let's check the pre audita radiological data. Uh, MRI shows that there is a compass in the segment. Uh, of T9 to 10. Uh, the, uh, the CT scan shows that the compression of T9 was uh, severe, and the ossification uh, mainly come from the left side. Uh, the ossification in the T10 is small, mainly from the right side. And we, uh, the diagnosis is the surgical ossification of ligamentum flywheel. Uh, for this uh, optional uh, surgical methods, we choose uh, UBE. Uh, UBE means a unilateral bipolar endoscopy, everyone is familiar uh, with it, so I won't uh, repeat it in uh, detail. And uh, one, uh, one ossification is uh, on the left side and the other is on the right side. How to show the approach? Uh, left or the, uh, right? Uh, because that was the first case, uh, I know you, you appear the answer. So I chose the severe compression side, that's the left side. Uh, there are two compressed uh, segment, uh, one with light uh, compression and the other with heavy compression. Uh, we first showed the segment with light uh, compression uh, to decompress. Uh, the video shows the beginning of the operation. The board cut the bone along the root of uh, spinous process to the opposite side, uh, just to like uh, just to like the ULBD surgery. And for the T T10 segment, we use over the top of the compression. Uh, the more 
the moon of the top structure is used to explore the full picture of the uh, ossification going from the tear to uh, hair to head along the dual matter surface to remove the uh, compression until there is no compression of the dual sac. Uh, for the T9 segment, uh, we take uh, a ipsilateral decompression. I can I can be seen in the video. There will be a blending area of uh, of video uh, video field when uh, when finding the lamina, which is difficult to grasp the disks. And there are similar problems in the use of lamina longer. Uh, during the observation, there was find that there was a, a, a tension. Uh, between the ossification and the dual matter, uh, which was separated carefully. And uh, uh, finally, the ossification was complete, uh, completely removed. The ossification should be sep uh, separated by head to tail uh, traction, and not uh, horizontally. Uh, this is the three uh, skin incision. Uh, this is the MI, uh, three days of the operation. We can see from the, uh, it, uh, the ossification has been removed. This is the uh, uh, CT scan. Uh, we can see uh, the opposition has been removed. This is the three uh, dimensional CT scan, three days of the operation. And we uh, we put uh, we protect uh, the joint uh, as possible as we could. Uh, this is uh, my image that a uh, patient come for review four months after the operation. Uh, it shows uh, the deep compression of the jaw. This uh, the compression of spinal nerves have uh, have been believed. This is the incision for uh, months of the operation. Uh, the video recorded the reveal in four months of the operation. The patient could not work before the operation, but now he can, uh, he can work the freely. And next, uh, let's, uh, let's look at the second case. The patient is uh, uh, 50, uh, 52 years old uh, female suffering from uh, weakness of both, both uh, low uh, limbs for more than one year and uh, both limb, uh, low limbs uh, muscles uh, atrophy. Uh, Pre-operator uh, MR showed that uh, there was a compression in uh, stage moment of T11 to 12. Uh, uh, the CT scan in the KT cases that the ligamentum flywarm at uh, T11 to 12 has been ossified. Uh, the cross section uh, CT show the compression mainly come from the right side. Uh, we uh, diagnose as uh, the ossification of uh, so that's called uh, ligamentum flywarm. The lumbar spinal stenosis and the uh, right uh, peroneal uh, nerve injury. Because the compression mainly comes from the right side, so we chose the left side as the approach side. Uh, this video shows the operation in process. The first uh, uh, video one, the decompre uh, compression across the top from the left side uh, can reveal the full picture of the ossification and detach uh, attention uh, to the dual matter. The uh, video two at the digital uh, end of the uh, compression, a small calcium uh, puncture can be used to bite the digital bone. Uh, the video three at the digital end of the compression can be uh, purged with, the, with a power drill. And the video four, pay attention to the position of the granny uh, to avoid uh, the bounce uh, the bounce of uh, power drill and the uh, spinal cord injury. Uh, this 
And the authentication can be can not be seen in the uh, post operation CT scan, so that the compression is uh, complete. Uh, the three D uh, the three dimension CT uh, shows that the damage to the free uh, procedure joints is very small, uh, which is a benefit to the lung term stability of the spine. Uh, the next, uh, the let's uh, look at the third uh, third uh, case. The patient is. Uh, uh, 74 years old uh, female, subform, uh, numbness and weakness of both the low limbs, uh, limbs for more than uh, two months. Um, and the observation uh, show that uh, there was a comparison of the segment of uh, T11 to uh, 12. That's a uh, big uh, Uh, the Swedish scan uh, suggests uh, that uh, the compression is also uh, ossified uh, ligament of flavor. So this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, the, the CT scan shows there is a compression on both sides, uh, and we can see from the uh, cross section the compression on the right, right is more uh, serious. Uh, the diagnosis like uh, 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 case two, uh, so like. Uh, uh, ossification of ligamentum flywall. And during the operation, the relationship between the position of uh, ossified uh, ligamentum flywall and the spinal kind of structure can be seen and uh, uh, the endoscopy, uh, which can great, uh, greatly reduce the risk of uh, intra-operative or spinal cord injury. Uh, the video show how to carefully separate and uh, remove the ossification in chin by bone. During the operation, the compression should be performed at the same time of your position. Uh, once, uh, once enough, the compression is stopped. Uh, exact, uh, excessive decompression should uh, be prevented. Uh, if the order is uh, at a hair joint to the lamina or ligament flywall, it must be carefully and uh, avoid uh, tearing the joint or enjoying the spinal cord. And we can see from the CT that the, the decompression of the bony, uh, bony spinal canal is a uh, 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 satisfaction. Okay. The CT, uh, the three uh, dimension CT should uh, use tender or uh, lamina uh, bone window resection. And uh, the four set, uh, four set joints will protect well. And the vertical view of the three uh, dimensions it shows the complete uh, ossified uh, resection in the spinal canal. Uh, chips. Finally, our UPLS in the, treat the treatment of TLF with UV technique as follow. Uh, suitable for a single or multi segment ossification of ligamentum flywall. Uh, for double se uh, segments, the segment with light compression shall be selected first. Uh, the contralateral approach was selected for a uh, unilateral uh, a compress compression, and the side uh, with light compression was selected for bilater uh, bilateral compression. Start with the base of spinal uh, spinal uh, process, and the head of tear of ossifying uh, ligament. A uh, precise uh, decompression can be achieved uh, according to the ossification range during the operation. Uh, generally, uh, in general, in general, UB technique has the advantage of safe op op operation and a complete uh, 
uh, decompression in tidal for mental for TOLF. So I think you will uh, come uh, come what about in with a single uh, cha uh, channel, uh, dual channels will make your uh, even stronger. Uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention.